Hey fellow YouTubers, this is N0AGI. I'm here to do a an experimental project um, for this uh, Motorola 7550 DMR UHF radio. Um, it comes with a, a factory stock antenna, but then you can get this uh, shorter UHF stubby antenna. I think it's uh, 9 or maybe $12, I think it was. Uh, from your Motorola dealer and the reason why these antennas are kind of unique in a way is uh, their connector types are not um, are not very common the connector type is very uh, is very unique in a way uh, you can just stick in an SMA connector in there and and expect it to work if you look in there uh, in the Motorola uh, connector uh, it's got a, a unique uh, way that this uh, uh, this connector kind of pops in and um, and works so what I'm trying to do uh, long story short is really I'm trying to see if I can take this connector dismantle that from the antenna and then repurpose the connector to attach a another outdoor magnetic antenna or whatever antenna to this connector and then use that to connect it to the radio and have it work. Um, again, very experimental. I never tried this. Um, there are some crazy ideas on YouTube where people have uh, tried different things and obviously none of them seem to have worked successfully. So I'm not I'm not proposing that you do the same with what I'm doing here. Again, this is just for my self edification, <laughs> for my own uh, gratification sort of a project. So don't do this if you are um, if you are unsure of what this is or if you are not willing to take a risk. So anyway, so this is just for my self edification. So and I'm just sharing what I'm doing here, uh, just for curiosity's uh, purposes. Okay, so that's my goal. I'm gonna take this and see how easily I can decouple the connector from the antenna. Um, and uh, maybe I'll try a heat gun or some sort of a way to decouple this um, without breaking it um, and then see if I can repurpose the connector for um, another antenna. All right, and that's a quick summary of this uh, project. I don't think this will be a short one, but uh, we'll see where it goes. Thanks for watching. I'll be right back. Okay, so on that note, um, I didn't want to mess with this one because I'm using it on my 7550, so I'll set that aside. Instead, I, I went and purchased a, a similar stubby antenna from a Motorola dealer here, and it comes in this pack. Um, it's the same antenna. Uh, so I'm gonna use this uh, in this experiment and see and see where this goes. All right, um, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see. I think the first thing I would want to try is maybe take my plier to it, but I don't want to cause any marks on it or burr the threads. I don't want to do that. So I might um, I might maybe use this cloth here, this microfiber cloth and see if I can use that to uh, get a, a grip and see if I can turn it. That's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, that's not working. So obviously this is fairly secured in there maybe there's a way to the next option is to see if I can if I can put my heat gun to it and see if I can if this wiggles in any way if that doesn't work I guess the only option is to cut it um, along the seam here and see if I can split that and see if I can then get into it all right
this is my SMD rework uh, heat gun here from my soldering station I set it up for what is that 200 degrees centigrade um, again you don't want to overheat it you don't want to burn this or melt it too bad you're just trying to decouple it maybe just heating up the uh, the connector uh, would do the trick all right I'll be right back okay so that didn't work either so um, and I think the, the next step is to see if I can without causing too much damage to the antenna if I can get in there um, and I'm trying to get the seam uh, let's see if I can get that uh, let's see him in there I'm trying to see if I can use it seam and cut through it okay let me try that and I'll be right back so I was able to cut through as you can tell and kind of split that ever so gently and I think it's coming through but it needs quite a bit of I don't think my knife is sharp enough so let me go grab my other better knife I'll be right back okay so finally was able to uh, crack this open I didn't have to go all the way but I just had to crack open the base portion of the antenna here and then I had to use a flathead screwdriver to kind of wiggle it and crack open the super glue I think it was or whatever so and then it came out um, and it kind of opens up nicely and then the the antenna portion kind of slides out All right so this is good stuff because now I can dismantle this coil the UHF coil the UHF resonant coil and then see if we can solder in the uh, the uh, connector to it so I can I can use this on the Motorola end and use this for the other UHF antenna end so I think the big portion of the puzzle is uh, is solved so I'll go on to step number two so the coil is uh, enclosed in a sticky tape type like a almost like a, a felt type of a, a tape uh, for protection so I'm taking that out and uh, so let's see if I can get you a closer look to that um, so so it was around the the coil here and the coil itself that's an that's a hard one to kind of show you let me come back on that okay so here's a closer look at the of the connector the coil uh, and the antenna okay so here we have a the the stubby antenna and I pulled up the the RSSI signal watcher uh, I'm here sitting in my basement here in my shack so this is not a, a really a, a good readout but I wanted to do a compare between the um, the stubby antenna uh, without the the housing removed and with this newly modified or the housing removed antenna here so I'm gonna take this out I think the reading is what one fluctuates between 116 117 
negative 160 and 117 approximately. So let me install this and see how that looks. So I've seen it fluctuate um, between 113 through 116, 118, somewhere in that range. So it tells me that the antenna is working and it hasn't uh, gone through any damage from my process of removing the housing. Uh, so that's uh, probably a good news. Um, and I did key up. Uh, from the basement here by the windows and seem to work just fine. So what I'm planning on now doing is I'm going to take out the coil. Okay. And then what I'm planning on doing is installing a, a, a BNC connector. Like for example this one here. And I'm planning on maybe installing it like so right uh, I may have to do some soldering work and so like so something like that and uh, and then of course I can use that to then attach additional external antenna to it okay so that's the plan we'll see uh, where this goes again this is all experimental I have no idea um, whether this will work or not um, but it's definitely worth a try um, I won't know it till I till I try it myself alright I'll be right back okay so good news uh, I was able to take the BNC connector and then couple that up with the the Motorola stubby antennas uh, the base adapter so this is now a fully functional adapter for external antenna. I just tested that with um, with my one of my BNC um, antennas, like for example this one here on my XPR seventy five fifty, and works really well. Now what I couldn't capture because my camera kind of died as I was building this is. Uh, when when I pulled out this coil um, from the um, from the uh, the base, uh, what it did was it exposes in the bottom the adapter there. It exposes a metal uh, base. So let me draw how it looks. Uh, basically, let me see if I can explode this a little bit. So if you were to take a the coil the coil would have been like so right and then the coil was like that if you take this coil out over here you will find a, a metal plate that it exposes uh, so if you were to take a cross-section view uh, or the side view rather uh, the the metal plate would be right about there and connected to the the body here of this one okay so that's how it looked okay so it exposes that flat surface area uh, and then what you need to do is then take one of these BNC connector adapters uh, that you can purchase on eBay or wherever um, and let's see if I can okay so what you need to do is insert this end of the the adapter in here like so and then you can't thread it in because it doesn't work like that uh, you need to force it in and you need a way to force it in on both ends so it kinda goes in there so that's what happened here I basically squished it together on both sides uh, using one of my circuit uh, board holders here so let me show you what I mean let me take this out so this is what I'm talking about so you you basically put the two pieces together and then put on the bottom like that um, and just try to hold it in place 
and then turn this thing so you're you're applying force on both sides so they get squished in there okay so fairly straightforward so that's what I did uh, the goal is to connect that flat surface uh, from in here uh, with the with the pin with the with that brass colored uh, section in there so if you push it hard enough that flat surface nicely and snugly fits into that hole and touches that uh, brass or copper uh, connector uh, which then allows you to install a, a BNC type of an antenna because a BNC antenna uh, let's see if I can get that to focus now has that uh, pin the center pin in there and that would then go in into that and it should work all right okay so let me see if I can show you so first things first uh, take your XPR 7550 again guys don't don't try this um, if you don't know what you're doing because I I would don't want to be responsible if your radio breaks or whatever uh, this is something that I like doing because I like to experiment and see how things work um, and so basically yeah if you're not comfortable with this or fear the risk of uh, damaging things don't do it uh, this is not this project is not for you and uh, I am not responsible for any damage it might cause so anyway so there you go the adapter is installed and now all you need to do is push in your external antenna and uh, that should work. Let me turn it on here. All right, so let's see the RSSI. Again, I'm here in the basement, so it's not a good test. Uh, it shows 117. Let me see if I can key up. I don't think I can because this antenna is not a good one. Let me go actually grab another one. I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully this will be a, a better test. Um, let me see if I can. All right, so let me key up. I'm on, uh, let's see, let me see if I'm on Midwest, Minnesota State, MNDMR. Let's go to local repeater, all right. Let's see, and I'm going to go and change this to RSSI. All right, ready, let's see. N0 AGI, local 9, Buckhill. Let's go to the dashboard and see how I fared on my last key up. So that was me. Uh, I think that one there, Buck Hill for 4.9 seconds. And let's see what the RSSI was, negative 111 and 0% loss. So seems to be working, the antenna seems to be working. And uh, let me give you another quick look. Um, All right, so of course I will need to make this look much better than it is, so, but you get the idea. All right, so that's a quick uh, view, guys, and, and uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this was useful, at least from a general information standpoint. Thank you so much. We'll talk soon.